So that's one of the things that you can do right off the bat is to invest in a professional microphone so your voice has a rich broadcast quality sound. Do you want to dramatically improve the trustworthiness and professionalism in your Zoom meetings? Well, audio quality is arguably one of the most important elements. And with just a few tweaks, you can move right past those default settings into projecting a more rich and confident sound. I'm Alina Nazari with Advisorist, and I want to show you guys a clip from a recent live workshop award-winning financial marketer Jeremiah Demaray hosted for some of the industry's top insurance and financial advisors. In this clip, he really goes deep into the Zoom settings to highlight some of the nuances that can really make a big difference in the quality of sound you project to your prospects and clients. But before we get started, please do me a big favor. Please go ahead and click that subscribe button below so you can be notified every time we push out awesome content for insurance and financial advisors. Now let's go over here in the bottom right hand section. We're going to take this step by step. Now this is the probably one of the biggest issues. I think the quote of 2020 is you're on mute, <laughs> right? Or you're muted. That's pretty much the quote of 2020 because that's people don't really remember or know how uh, to unmute themselves. I've been in some pretty funny situations here, but perhaps some of these tips might help. So you notice this little arrow here. What you want to do is go up to select a microphone and pick the microphone that's best for you. Now, once you notice, you may not notice this difference because I'm actually recording this on uh, a different screen recorder software. But I want you to notice that there's a difference between recording from a webcam and for me, this uh, AT2005 USB is a microphone that plugs directly in. And you can tell by the sound of my voice that, you know, I'm talking to a microphone that's uh, about $80 or $90 microphone. It's got a little stand, but my voice is much richer than, let's say, if I was to switch the audio to pick up ambient, which will be a little more echoey, a little more tinny, and just comes across as less professional. So that's one of the things that you can do right off the bat is to invest in a professional microphone so your voice has a rich broadcast quality sound. Now moving down here, selecting a speaker, sometimes people cannot hear what you're saying or you can't hear what they're saying because the system is trying to push the audio out of speakers that, for example, these are actually my this speakers that are embedded into my monitors because I have two monitors, so you see them here. So always make sure and do a little sound check. I always recommend logging into your meetings about 10 minutes before, especially if you have a presentation and it's you or another teammate or an assistant that'll be with you. Be there, be professional, log in five to 10 minutes early just to check all your settings so that when somebody shows up, you are ready to go. Now, if ever you're in doubt, you can use this feature here to test your own speaker and your microphone. Now you can hear that sound, can't you? So if you can hear the sound, you hit yes. Hit yes. Now they want you to speak and pause. Now they want you to speak and pause. So I'm going to say, yes, I did hear that. And it says, okay, great. Speaker microphone looks good. So they've got this cool little built-in wizard that can actually help you with the testing process. Now, one quick thing uh, I can show you here is here's where you can switch up your speakers during your test. All right. So we'll just go ahead and close that out because we've already proved it. The next one is switching to phone audio. It may happen sometimes, and trust me, it's happened to me more than once where something happens on the internet. I, I have a very high speed internet connection, but you know, outages happen. So if ever you want to switch to the phone, use this feature and you'll be given a phone number that you can dial. Uh, you'll dial this, any one of these numbers, your meeting ID, your participant ID. This way it will link you to your face and then your meeting passcode. And all of this is personally ID to you. You don't want to give this to anybody because then they basically can replace you on a call. So this would be, un this is kind of like your unique ID inside Zoom. Okay, moving down here. Uh, if you wanted to turn off, I don't know why you would ever want to leave your computer audio, but that is an option. And then you have your audio settings. So let's take a look a little bit deeper at audio settings.
So I always leave this feature on, automatically adjust microphone volume. What that will do is it will kind of select uh, the right range of your voice and not allow it to go too high or too low. I always leave this on automatically to suppress background noise. If you have, let's say, a lawnmower going off or construction in the background, you may want to use the high feature. So it's really going to push a lot of the background noise and even some of the low pitch points in your voice. But for most of our purposes, auto will be just perfect for you. Now this one here is optional. Automatically join audio by computer when joining a meeting. I may recommend you turn that off once you get savvy because you know, it's happened in meetings I've seen where people log in and then they say something and it can be overheard by all people who have gotten there early. So I'll show you how to fix that in the future as well to keep everybody in a waiting room. So this is what you'd want to decide here. I always like to mute my microphone when joining a meeting. So this way if there's noise in the background, sometimes I, I log into the meeting and I'm getting stuff ready in the background, I always have my microphone muted. This is an optional feature which I actually like. So some Zoom meetings that we do, we have about 100 people there. And instead of you know clicking on and off, you can just use the space bar. So if I wanted to speak, I'd hold the space bar down, then I'd let it go when I'm done and it's taken care of. If you have one of those fancy Bluetooth headsets where you have buttons on it that can allow you to speak and unmute, you can use this sync feature to do that as well. I hope that was as helpful for you as it was for me. I'll be honest, I've seen those buttons plenty of times on the bottom of my Zoom meetings and I've never really taken the time to explore all of the settings and nuances, but I, I definitely will now. I'd recommend you try to log on to your next Zoom meeting a few minutes early, try to see what tweaks you can make. Enjoyed that clip? Go ahead and click that subscribe button below for more insightful tactics and strategies on effective B2B lead generation ideas to grow your list. And if you're looking for more cutting edge resources, including templates, scripts, and strategies, make sure you join Jeremiah Demeray and hundreds of other insurance and financial advisors every single week for the free, completely free, virtual advisor power hour. Just click the link in the description below to add it to your calendar. Thanks for watching.